During an episode of The Breakfast Club last month, LT Hutton revealed that a draft of John Singleton's Tupac Shakur biopic featured a few controversial scenes, including one that involved his mama Feeney Shakur in a threesome and another scene that showed Pac getting raped in jail. Sometime later, a leaked script from Singleton titled Tupac Amaro Shakur and subtitled Revision 8 confirmed those suspicions by way of TMZ. Film producers at one of the All Eyes on Me production studios, Morgan Creek, also authenticated the script. Around that time, Hip Hop DX's associate producer, Euro Garrett, spoke to Digital Underground's own Money B about those exact allegations alongside mentioning that Singleton had someone else in mind to portray Pac instead of Demetrius Ship Jr. I didn't get a chance to see his original script, but I knew about it and I heard about that. And I'll also say that the person that John Singleton really wanted to play Tupac in the movie, I don't think the fans would have appreciated that choice, you know, because as you can see, Pac fans are very, very adamant about things. And if the person that John wanted to play him played him and once they found out his real life lifestyle, it would have been issues, I believe. You know, so, um, you know, but peace out to John, he has a chance to make his, his version of it because like I, I've always said, there's room for everybody to make their Tupac movie. Cause Pac, he wore so many hats, he did so many things. He was, you know, he moved around so much that there's thousands of stories and they all could be turned into movies, you know? I'm gonna make my Tupac movie eventually. Money B also spoke about playing himself nearly 20 years in the past on All Eyes On Me. The first time I heard the notion of me playing myself came from LT Hutton. And then I also have to give a shout out to um, Layla Steinberg, who was Pac's original manager. She, you know, I was talking to her one day and she kind of mentioned like, you know what? You still look the same, you should do it. And she told me that she would put the bug in somebody's ear. But then LT, he actually mentioned it to me as well. And I was like, you know, I started getting flashbacks about when I auditioned for Juice, I sucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then um, when I did do the audition and when I, I had to audition actually, believe it or not. But even when I got on set, instead of really like, okay, I gotta, I gotta be, I was like, I am me. You know, how are they gonna tell me that I'm not being me enough? So. I'll just relax and just did whatever. The Digital Underground member also mentioned his turn as an author who co-wrote his own book, Hype Man, and accompanying album Forever Good, alongside music ventures including Oakland rapper Lil Mikey TMB, who also accompanied Money B, and had this to say about lessons he's learned from his mentor as he promotes his recently released project, Eastside Nino. Uh, when I wasn't, when I wasn't really rapping, I was just rapping because I knew I can rap, you feel me? I was really in the streets, but still putting out music on MySpace and all that weird shit, SoundCloud, all that YouTube. I was just, it, it just wasn't my life for real. I was in the streets, but I knew I can rap, so I was just recording songs. And I'm, I'm hearing the love, I'm getting up my shit, but I wasn't trying to hear it because I was really in the streets, you feel me? So really, you got to put the work in. Ain't no, ain't, no, ain't no shortcuts. Give us your thoughts on today's news in the comment section below. And don't forget to check the site for more news on the success of Jay-Z's 444 album, giving the Rock Nation head his 13th platinum selling album. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more music and news, hit up hiphopdx.com.